What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're going to be looking at a new nutsack bag. Yep, I said nutsack. That's who makes this bad boy. And they, if you're unfamiliar with nutsack, you need to go check them out. I'll have a link in the show notes to their website because they make some quality bags. This is the newest in the lineup. This is the Muy Grande. Yep, and it is designed for laptops. Finally, a bag that they actually produce that is designed for up to a 17 inch laptop, which uh, should cover you. Um, they have a lot of smaller lines like the Satchel, Satchel Pro. Um, so, again, check them out. This is available in two different colors uh, the tan and the black. I actually have the black here. This is made with uh, canvas and leather and is just high quality uh, bag all around. So, I have elected to use this as my tech bag. Um, we're going to dive in and see what I have in my tech bag. Now, I do. Uh, travel. I'm an IT person so I do travel a lot and uh, this is basically what I need too. If I'm just going to be in town too, if I'm like running to the coffee shop or something because I'm doing some side business stuff or actual work stuff, everything in this bag I've tried to get to where um, it's it's minimalist but it's everything that I need. Okay, So it's, it's not going to be like super minimal but it is, I try to get down to what I just need and the smallest or multifunctional thing that can cover multiple things. I don't have to carry three things for one. I try to make that uh, win for me. So let's look at the bag and then we'll dive in. And if you're just here for the tech and not the bag, then check the show notes. I'll actually have the minutes of the video where I start diving into the tech. Okay. So here we go. Again, nutsack, muy grande. This is, fits up to a 17 inch laptop. You can see it's got leather, it's got nice high quality uh, straps, zippers, um, hooks. Look at that. That is, <laughs> that is not going to fail you guys. This is high quality. Uh, little leather pull, pull tabs, a nice little leather uh, strap in the front and that uh, buckles in here. You can see it's got a little snap and then a loop. Again, leather, nice high quality in the back. We've got another pocket. Now one thing you can see this here kind of picks up some dust or lint or whatever. So uh, if I had any kind of gripe, it's it's kind of a lint magnet. At least the black one is. The tan, you may not be able to see it as much, but the black really shows it off. Uh, and then it's got a nice shoulder strap, as you can see here. Beautiful shoulder strap and uh, very comfortable too. This has nice padding on the back and uh, has no problem whatsoever. Uh, supporting the weight and being comfortable on your shoulder. Okay, so so this side obviously is the side you've got to you. Uh, that's pretty much, this is theft proof, so you can walk around in the airports with this because obviously no one's gonna be able to get to this uh, when it's on your shoulder, as long as this isn't facing out, which you would not want probably to have that facing out. Um, everything else is secured. There are no side pockets, so one thing I am missing with this bag as well, is a cup holder, um, so I might reach out to Nutsack and say, hey, we need a cup holder. Uh, otherwise, everything else in this bag, I love it, okay? I've got some logo branding down here. You can actually customize that to not say Nutsack. If you don't want the Nutsack on there, uh, when you're ordering your bag, you can actually just have the acorn and not Nutsack. Some people might find it offensive, who knows? But that is an option, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and dive in to what's in my tech bag. As you can see here, as I lift that little strap in the front, it unveils all the uh, pockets and stuff, and they're all zipped up and latched. So there's no way I'm going to lose anything with this sealed up. Okay? You can see it is kind of bulky. I do have quite a bunch of stuff in here, but again, it's stuff that I need. But it sits up right, which is nice. It's not going to plop over real easy. Uh, that's a nice bonus. So when I set this down, I don't want it collapsing with my stuff in it. This does not do that. And again, all the zippers, they have nice leather strap pulls so we can start. So let's just start with the front pocket. So I'm gonna unzip the front. So this is a quick access kind of pocket if you if you want to call it that, because it's the first one up. So what do I got in here? Let's go ahead and push this back a little bit and start weighing stuff out. So I have, I'm just gonna pull stuff out. So I have a Anchor Powerline Plus cable. This is the micro USB variety. And my vitamins. What else do we got in here? 
Another power line cable. This is for lightning. I just love the anchor power lines. I got these nice little bags. All right, pulling everything out. So I've got uh, a spuds microfiber cloth, and then an eye roller for my screen. And if you don't familiar with an eye roller, it's just you pop it open. It's got a little screen cleaner on it, and then you just wash it off. So it's reusable, better than a microfiber cloth in my opinion. And then the uh, hero clip here, which turns this into. Uh, if, like if I use a bathroom stall or something, then this turns into a hanger uh, for my bag. I don't want to sit this obviously on the floor in a dirty bathroom stall. So this here just clips onto it, and you can hang this up on the stall door or whatever. So this is this has come in very handy numerous times. Great for traveling. So that's all I have really in the front pocket, guys. So let's move on to the secondary pocket, which actually is the main pocket. And zip. Now I'm going to show you, here's the innards, okay? Have it very organized and very neat. This is not cluttered. If I go into a meeting someplace, I don't want to appear disorganized, uncluttered, or anything like that. So I try to keep this as neat as possible uh, at all times. So first item I'm going to pull out here is my Bose Quiet Comfort 35. Uh, they're uh, two, I think, the second generation. Um, so these here, these are noise canceling. They are awesome headphones. You've probably seen other YouTubers pimp these out, but uh, definitely I've got the silver variety here. Got a nice little pocket up here to carry some stuff into as well. But uh, these things, you put them on and you're pretty much in your own world with the, whatever you got going on in here because it drowns out everything. Crying kids, airplane noise engine, whatever. It just drowns it out. Amazing headphones. Highly recommend them. Uh, also, now maybe you can see a little more in here. As you can see here, I have a pouch. I have some AirPods uh, that are in a nice little uh, protective case with a carabiner in here so I don't lose them. So let's go ahead and pull out the pocket stuff here. So uh, I actually have a lint roller for me uh, called the Flint. This is a nice little roll up lint roller. And I've got an Apple Watch charger because I do have an Apple Watch. Uh, and I don't want to uh, have it die while I'm on the road. Uh, this actually will charge your phone as well. You can plug in USB and as you can see here I need to charge this thing so I just used it on a trip. So definitely this is from Belkin by the way. And then <clears throat> this pocket I've got a Kindle Paper White. I um, actually love this thing and then what I did is I just put this little uh, pocket on the back which you can purchase separately and I put my coffee card in here so obviously I go to the coffee shop I got my coffee balance gift card whatever right here and my reading material and in the last pocket over here we've got a charger if I can get it past the airpods and this is from my charge this charger does everything that I want okay it's got an AC power outlet in it which is just phenomenal. Um, nothing like having an AC outlet on the go with you. It also has two USBs and type C on the front. So everything is covered and it does have a digital readout screen that you can actually see how much battery is left. And if USB is on off, same with the outlet, you can turn the outlet on over here and then you charge this guy up over here. So definitely, and this thing's rugged too. It's gonna take a beating. So I have that charger in there. Probably not the thinnest and lightest weight charger, but I do I do switch it out if I need to. And then my miscellaneous, I keep in this guy. So what's nice about this, this is from Bellroy. This is their classic pouch. So if I just unzip. Uh, what do we got? We've got my readers. Yeah, as you get older, guys, sorry, your glasses. You know, these aren't prescription glasses or anything, but I have problems reading little tiny print and kind of being in IT you need them. These are fold up readers, very compact design. I love them. Uh, they work very, very well. So got my readers in here. Got to have them for small print instructions and crap. Uh, my Mountie, which I can use my iPad for a second screen to my laptop. Some gum. Advil for those headache problems. Uh, these are the uh, 
earplanes. And uh, if you've ever uh, flown and your ears pop or whatever, these are great. And also if you drive through the mountains or up and down, up and down in high altitude, low altitude, high altitude, these work great. Uh, can't suggest earplanes enough. Oh, what else? We got uh, some mints. These are Viter Energy mints. Getting low. They actually have caffeine in them. I have a USB-C thumb drive. I have a USB-C dual cable here. These actually come in really handy. Oh, I have some chapstick, birch bees. What else do we got? Uh, this is a Joby grip. This is like a little pod, a little tripod that uh, folds out. It's actually really cool. You can put your phone in it too. A pin. What else? Is that it? Oh, got a tile. Yep, it's hidden in here. Tile to track this thing, and I don't really have anything in the pockets. So that's my classic pouch from Bellroy. Really keeps stuff very, very organized. Uh, can't recommend that enough. Again, the AirPods, and then let's see, we've got a Pelican case. Keep my SD cards in here. So just open it up. I've got a lot of SD cards. Keeps them nice and safe and protected. Then. We've got my Bellroy Workfolio. I believe this is the A4 Workfolio. And what do I have in this? So if I open this up, again, this is a very professional workfolio, but in here I've got my calendar for the week, which I can get rid of because that week is over. Passport. I actually have a passport holder I'm going to be showing you guys pretty soon. It's coming, and I really like it. Uh, and then in this I got some tech. I got my G drive, got a charger, and this G drive is amazing. It's 500 gig SSD. It's very fast. See, Type C, but uh, definitely great SSD drive. Very compact, very small, very rugged. Got my Apple Pencil because underneath the Apple Pencil I have my 10.5 inch iPad Pro along with the Apple keyboard case. As you can see there. Compact design, fits right in my workfolio. And I use this iPad a lot. All right, let's move that aside. And last but not least in the bag is my 15 inch MacBook Pro. It is in a snug pouch, snug case, as you can see here. Got my business cards and then my iPad Pro, or MacBook Pro, right here. So, all in this nice little snug case. Finally, the back pocket. What do I keep in the back? Well, you say, well, you've got a MacBook. One thing that I haven't noticed is a dongle. Well, that's because I keep it back here. And my dongle of choice right now is I am XPW. I'm giving this a, a try. Uh, it is the dongle type, so it uh, plugs in with a little room. And this has a USB 3.0, two USBs, SD card, micro SD card, and on the back's got another uh, Type C and an HDMI out. So it's got me pretty much covered. Uh, it is nice, high quality aluminum, so it's definitely a nice uh, USB C hub. Another charger. This one here will actually power my MacBook Pro. Um, looks like it needs just a little bit of a charge, but this is a RAV power. Uh, power bank and it's actually got uh, type C and USB out and then of course the micro USB to charge it and last but not least I have my presentation uh, this is a Python this thing is awesome uh, so it uh, has a built-in little uh, transmitter receiver and what this does is it allows you to do PowerPoint presentations or pages presentations uh, with the remote. It's also got a, as you can see it on the screen here, it's also got a laser pointer built in. And the cool thing is you can actually charge your phone off of this guy because this is rechargeable via USB. And you can plug in a USB cord and charge devices with this guy. But it uh, works with everything too. Linux, Mac, Microsoft Windows. So never found an OS. This guy couldn't handle. Definitely a nice little presentation pointer remote. And that's everything, guys. That's all I've got in my tech bag. Like I said, I try to make it minimal. 
but with what I actually need. And everything you see here is stuff that I've used on a daily basis. You can see some of it's not charged. Um, so definitely uh, not a ton, but this is what I use and rock, and it works out quite well. And again, check out the nutsack bag. Check the links in the show notes. I'll have links for everything you see here. At least I'll try to. Maybe not everything is available or whatever, but uh, I'll definitely have links in the show notes. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be notified when more videos like this drop. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.